In this video, we will learn about how characters and integers interact in Java. If you want to declare a character variable that has a value of alphabet uppercase A, you will write character ch, var variable ch, has value of uppercase A. Remember that when you use characters for character type variables, you have to put the character in two apostrophes, not quotes. When you think about character type variables in Java, you can think of them as characters on the outside, but integers on the inside. So what do I mean by that? All characters in Java are matched with corresponding numbers. In particular, there is a code called ASCII, ASCII code that assigns a number to all the characters, as assigns a number to each character. In order to find out what number is assigned to the uppercase letter A, let's use typecast to convert this character into an integer. So we're going to declare an integer B equals, we're going to typecast this character. This statement means that we will manually convert this character um, type variable CH into an integer, and we'll store that value in B. So now, let's print out the value of the integer version of character A. We got the answer 65. So now we know that the uppercase letter A corresponds to the number 65. Now let's find out what the next number is assigned to. By that I mean 66. So what does 66 mean? Um, let's declare um, ch, let's redeclare it as follows. Character ch equals a plus 1. Now although it might seem illogical to add a number to a character, but you can do this because, as I said before, characters in Java are actually integers on the inside. Um, if you print out if you print out this new character, this will give us B. So we know that the letter um, B is assigned by the number 66. Because of such name nature of character type, being really similar to integer type, you have to watch out when you concatenate character types variables. You can always concatenate character type to strings. Let's define a new string. String str equals I am. Um, as you can see, string variables are um, are used by um, two quotes. Now let's concatenate this string with character type ch. Remember that the ch variable had a value alphabet a, and this addition, um, this plus operator, will um, function as concatenating. Um, so it'll append ch to string. So let's find out what that result is. I am A, character A. So we can also so remember that integer B had a value of 65. So if we concatenate this integer to the string, it'll give us I am 65. However, you have to be careful when you concat when you use plus sign to uh, two character type variables. So let's say you want to write, you want to let's say you try to uh, concatenate character A and character B. What this will give is not a b, so this is not a b. As I said, character a and b are character a and b on the uh, in on the outside, but on the inside they are actually numbers. So character a had value of sixty five, and character b had value of sixty six. So when you when you add when you use a plus operator, they will actually add the ASCII code of these numbers. So it'll be one thirty one instead of being AB.